Norton in the early going should show a pretty good left jab. His best punch is a left hook. He chops with his right. It's not really effective. As fights go on, he has a tendency to open his stance and leave himself open to the left, very vulnerable to it, and to the counter right. But maybe those fastballs have been to some degree correct, but we'll see. Ali in the white trunks, Kenny Norton in the blue. Ali with the flicking left to keep Norton off. Norton's best hope is the left hook to the belly, and he's got to get inside to connect with him. yell virtually every time Kenny Norton throws a punch. San Diego's his hometown. He's an ex-Marine, a past champion in the Pan Am Games. A determined guy. 28 years old, though, not as young as you might think. Got a minute to go in round one. You saw that left attemptedly thrown by Norton. It came from way out. He telegraphed it. We have the mandatory eight count in this fight. The three knockdown rule is waived. No scoring, no saving by the bell. to go the crowd excited as Ali was pinned in the corner but you saw him blocking those punches with his arms and with his gloves we're approaching the end of round one Ladies and gentlemen, in case you joined us late, at 1.22 of the fourth round, Jerry Quarry disposed of Tony Doyle as the fight was stopped by referee Johnny Thomas. And now we're awaiting the principals for tonight's main event. And of course, that means Muhammad Ali and Ken Norton. And while we're waiting, we thought it would be advisable to bring you back, so to speak, to March 31st and let you see what happened then and what will happen tonight. As you well know, Bud Ferrillo has explained it many times. Muhammad Ali claims he did not did not train for the San Diego TIFF, but he claims that he's worked harder for this one than at any time in his career. 15 weeks, just as I was climbing those mountains around Deer Lake, Pennsylvania, and every day when I'd go up, I'd say, Norton, 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 Norton. I'm going to get you, Norton. <laughs> now, there's a controversy about when the jaw was broken, Chick. Norton says the 12th round, Ali says the second round, and Ali adds, he says, Norton did the hurting, I did the feeling. I should know when it was broken. When we had a press conference here at the Fabulous Forum, oh, about four months ago, to announce this fight, uh, Ali took over and he really made some statements, did he not? He wasn't subdued that day, no. was he? Uh, I think that both men tonight are a little bit subdued. The first thing that happened when we got into the dressing room of um, Kenny Norton tonight, oh, he came over about 5.30 L.A. time, and he um, was playing music and feeling very good and very confident. We're going to go to round six now of the first Mohammed. Ali, Ken Norton fight in San Diego. Remember, March 31st, that's not long ago. Once more, let's join Howard Cosell for the call. Well, it's the start of round six. And as one looks back on the first five rounds, either Kenny Norton is a smart, smarter, much better fighter than anybody thought, or Muhammad Ali has gone back a lot more than one could have reasonably believed. What do you think, Joe Frazier? Well, uh, I think right now, uh, Ken a very uh, smart fighter. He's good. He's been to me for like five years, and uh, I think he's, he know the ropes. As uh, a lot of people think it, he know the ropes out there. He know what he's doing. Yeah, I was excited by that. A 
Ali back in the corner right above it. If Ali can do something more than he's done, he's going to have to do it, start doing it. We're almost a minute and a half into the sixth round. All right, we'll see what happens in this little bit right here. That was Angelo Dundee. As a reporter, I can only say Ollie's arms seem heavy and listless. No snap to the punches. And where is that old movement on the toe? Circling, circling, circling. 40 seconds left in round six. Keep that up, baby. That's it. Turn it on, go. On the knee. 25 seconds left. Not what you would call a scintillating effort, is it? Ten seconds left in round six. You know, Bud Ferrillo, some historian once made a very sound statement about the month of March. Remember it? Was it Julius Caesar who said, beware of the eyes of March? You know why I picked that up? Muhammad out? Ali. Two losses, both of them in the month of March. March 8, 1971, decision to Joe Fraser. March 31, 1973, decision by Ken Norton. He should stay away from March. Well, he's away from March right now. Quite a ways away. He'll be marching right in pretty soon, too. As on September the 10th here, we wait for the big return bout. All the talking, all the publicity, all the ranting, the raving, all the preparation, it's all done now. and. We will get a result here in the not too distant future. Another defeat hasn't done anything to diminish his popularity, Chick. Muhammad arrived in town, the Marriott, the new Marriott Hotel here in Los Angeles. Everywhere he goes, hundreds of people shouting, following him. I wish you could have seen the pushing and shoving scene after the weigh-in, people trying to get into the elevator. That must have been what it was like on the Titanic at the lifeboat deck. Muhammad uh, must be regarded as having done as much for boxing as any fighter in the history of the game. Well, there's no question about it. He's the biggest, fastest man who ever fought, and also he has shown the ability to take great punches. All right, we're all set now to take you back to San Diego via film to round number 10. And for round number 10 of the first bout, here is Howard. Well, we're coming to you live from the San Diego Sports Arena, round 10. Believe it or not, round 10 is underway. Kenny Norton in the blue trunks against Muhammad Ali in the white. In a fight that has been anything in the world but exciting. Interesting only in the fact that Ali has shown so little against this relatively unknown heavyweight whose chief claim to fame previously, apart from the San Diego area, had been the fact that he was a sparring partner for the former heavyweight champion, Joe Frazier. He's been the aggressor in the fight, even though he hasn't really known how to take advantage of it. Ali has been, well, we've been watching. Come on, champ! Let's go, champ! Let's go, champ! with 
the gloves up against the ropes. Ali showing no movement. And looking tired as Norton lifted him up a little bit off the ground. Things grow curiouser and curious. Round 10, minute and a half gone. in this afternoon the way he usually does. It wasn't a quick left, snapping please. thing. Come on, DT. Come up on that left. Crowd now beginning to exhaust Kenny Norton. Ali couldn't take advantage of the off-balance Norton. appears so much younger, so much stronger. There's that fight to the midsection. And Joe Frazier is exhorting all, uh, Norton to keep those blows into the midsection, which is now becoming a more open target. Now Norton's left is getting in there before our leads. We are in round 10 with 10 seconds to go. As you see the countdown on your screen. As we await, ladies and gentlemen, Muhammad Ali and uh, Ken Norton in the ring, I think it's interesting, Bud, for Hello, that in the first fight that we're looking at on film, it was a five to one choice. The odds makers made Ali the favorite. Tonight, what is it? Well, that uh, that Greek god of odds has looked down from uh, a crap table in Las Vegas and said that it's two and a half to one, Ali. How do you like that? Well, see, I don't know what to say. Uh, Ken Norton certainly did the job in the first fight. We're looking at the film. I can't believe that's Ali. He must have had the jaw broken early. There's none of the movement that you expect from him. No dancing at all. However, in the 11th round, he did come on a bit, which is another indication of his great courage. Everybody's talking about the great conditioning of um, Muhammad Ali for this fight. Uh, nine pounds less at 212. He weighed 221. But don't forget the very uh, rippling, muscled body of Kenny Norton was at 210 for the first fight. He's at 205. Yes, and Ali thinks that's going to work in his favor. He believes that Ken Norton is too fine at 205. He says, you've got to have some gas, man. You've got to have extra weight. He says, I can lose five or six pounds and it won't bother me. He says, but if Norton loses five or six pounds, he'll be too weak. Now, in the Joe Bugner fight that we covered for the closed circuit television and top rank at Las Vegas, Ali stayed on his toes quite a bit in that fight and won the decision. Now we'll go to round 12 of the March 31st fight, Ali and uh, Norton. But the fight has spoken for itself. The final round, round 12. Joe Frazier just made a good crack. He said, what's Ali going to tell you now? That I, Joe Frazier, took all the fight out of him? Because that's what Ali said after Joe was beaten by George Foreman. Joe Frazier talking to me there as we pass the minute mark in the final round he says the fight's no surprise to him because of the years he worked with Kenny Norton a reiteration basically of what he had told us earlier round 12 when Ali would want to be scoring heavily and is not able to do so Norton is throwing the leather he's not connecting Ali has the blows blocked but the aggressor remains Kenny Norton 
There's no way in the world Ali will be able to explain the fact that he's put on this kind of show. No way. He didn't want Norton to last 12 rounds. Now we'll have to see how the scoring went. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no hypnotism for tonight's bout. Kenny Norton told us that, and you'll see him say it and hear him say it a little bit later on tonight. But there are 36 minutes of potential slugging, pounding, shoving, every concept of boxing skill exerted in this ring and on the screen that you're looking at coming up very, very shortly. Bud Perillo, the sports editor of the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, is working with yours truly, Chick Hearn. And I want to tell you that Bud is one of the foremost boxing writers in the world. And I'm going to pin you down a little bit more than I have, Bud. Uh, we've talked about condition of both men. Obviously, very, very sharp. Who do you think will win the fight and why? I believe that Muhammad Ali will re recapture a lot of his old self and stop Kenny Norton in 10 rounds. Because for the simple reason he has said, and he has said over and over again, he has never really trained for a fight. That's a fact. He says, the only time that I train is when I'm fighting one of those blonde, blue-eyed devils. And he looked down at Norton one day, he says, and that night you're going to be a blonde, blue-eyed devil. That's exactly what he said at a press conference right here at the Fabulous Forum. Now you said he's going to stop Ken Norton. Norton has had 31 fights. That's he's right. been stopped once, and that was by Jose Luis Garcia. Right, knocked out uh, at the Olympic Auditorium in Los Angeles. 1970. And uh, are you going to tell me that Ali, who has not knocked anybody out, he stopped people, but he has not knocked anybody out since 1967, is going to do it tonight? You think it'll be a TKO then? Oh, yes. I, I, he will not uh, put uh, Norton down for 10. He hasn't done that to anybody since Zora Foley. But uh, when he gets it all going, uh, they'll stop it. He has the ability to cut a man uh, with his slashing punches. Uh, in fact, uh, Joe Bugner in the Vegas fight in February had never been cut before, and he was cut in the first round, but credit to the big German kid, he hung in there and made quite a fight out of it. Now, Norton has been cut, but not often. Chick, I think that if Ali would come back to the Bugner fight, he could beat Norton. If you recall, against Bugner, he was on his toes throughout the fight. Just marvelous job of bring generalship to boxing. He uh, created the phrase long, long time ago, but hasn't lived up to it in his recent fights. But he does say now, I'm going to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. And something about, uh, I've got my endurance and Norton's going to need insurance. But Norton says that this is going to be, to take a title of a very famed movie, a requiem for a heavyweight. Well, you know, Kenny Norton has a lot of admiration for Muhammad Ali. And he said, it's tough to, to go up against a legend but legends must die too and it's time it's time for the Norton legend to start maybe maybe Ken Norton is destined for the greatest things in boxing and what a body huh I've never seen a body like that fella has he certainly is put together I'll say that when you think about the the great heavyweight physiques I think of course of Max Bear oh he was fat compared to Kenny Norton <laughs> that's really. right yeah uh, but he had shoulders that you know he had to go in the ring sideways they're coming in tonight from all over Southern California, from all over the world. And of course, we're sending this picture to you throughout the world, and we hope that you're going to enjoy it. The first bout, in case you missed it, ended in a fourth round TKO for Jerry Quarry, 
And as you heard in our interview with Jerry and Gil Clancy, his manager, they are now very, very much in line for a shot at George Foreman's title. Chick, we were talking a little earlier about perhaps Norton is overconfident. I say I got that from Eddie Bossman Jones, one of his sparring partners. Uh, Kenny doesn't see how he can lose. He, uh, I mean, this, this was the mood of his training camp. And, and maybe one of the reasons for it is a fellow who works with him by the name of Pete Mole Man Williams. I have never seen a better imitation of Muhammad Ali than the Mole Man can give. He just looks exactly like him in there. And it's interesting also that Mole Man trained Joe Frazier, sparred with him when he fought Ali. Muhammad Ali did his training at Deer Creek, Pennsylvania, where he has put about a quarter of a million dollars into a training facility, one of the most lavish, I guess, ever put up by a boxer himself. And, of course, Kenny Norton trained right here in California. Norton and Ali both came to town about five days ago. And since that time, of course, the press has responded. They have taken not only to Ali, but to Norton. And some very flattering, some very controversial things have been said and written. Uh, I would think that probably the, what you say it is, five to two, the odds? Yes. Uh, is uh, pretty, pretty generally accepted. Anybody taking Norton? <laughs> Huh? Well, Chick, I'll have to go up a few aisles there and see what they're doing. I know where they are. Uh, Ken Norton is a very likable guy, one of the most intelligent boxers I've ever met. Really, he can, he can talk to you about a lot of things. He went to college, uh, played end, very good football player, went there on a football scholarship, could have been a professional football player. You know, in some high kind of athlete. In high school, Norton ran 109.9. Well, he may have to run faster tonight. You know what uh, sports... Mohammed participated in softball, basketball, and volleyball, but Mohammed held a championship. I thought marbles. he was always on a debate team. No, nope. he won a marbles championship. He said he had the surest knuckles in Louisville. Well, that probably explains how he became such a great speaker. He must, must have practiced with those marbles in his mouth. We have got, as you can understand, celebrities from radio, television, the film world, and from every country here tonight. Yeah, the boss is here, Frank Sinatra. And the boss of the fabulous forum, Jack Ken Cook, is in New York tonight. Sammy Davis Jr. making his way in. I'll tell you, Sammy Davis and Muhammad Ali are about as close as two people can get. They are really something. When he defeated Bugner in Las Vegas, Davis beat me in the ring. I was going to do the interview. Is that Bob Foster there? Uh, is, that's uh, Rune that's Arledge. On camera. Oh, is that Sammy? There's Frank Sinatra there. And you know who the guy is on the left, don't you? Oh, yes, Howard. You can't ever get away from Rune Howard. Arledge I love there him. there with the glasses. Sinatra and Frankie, or not Frankie, but Sammy Davis Jr. And this town that has been awaiting this bout, now just about to be rewarded for that long, diligent wait. Tickets were scaled at $100 down. You know what Kenny Norton and his great, great manager, Kenny Futch, have in common? No, I don't. Their birthdays, the same day. August the 9th, different years. Uh, quite a few. Eddie Futch is 62, and Kenny's 29. And Eddie Futch, uh, Chick, I don't think anybody. Anybody what? Anybody took the, the death of Yancey Durham harder than, than Eddie Futch did. They were very close. Does that mean that Eddie might take over some of the properties? Uh, might a distinct possibility Foster, that he will become example. the manager of Joe Frazier and Bob Foster. Fernando Lamas, uh, we had on your screen a moment ago. There are a couple of reporters from uh, overseas. Uh, they're here from everywhere. Lots of interest in this fight, and we know of that's course, why. Of course, the person with San Fernando Lamo, uh, Lamas uh, is uh, his wife, Esther Williams. That's right. Also here, Mr. and Mrs. Peter Falk. Bud Schulberg is here with Mrs. Schulberg. That's my man waving at me. Frank Sinatra, that's right. He is a great boxing man. When I did the uh, Ali Frazier fight at Madison Square Garden, he was right in the corner. Remember, he shot some pictures that were so good that Life Magazine used them. Yeah, and that was the end of Life Magazine, too. That's a pretty good picture right there. I'm only kidding, Frank. They were great pictures. Just to refresh your memory now of the rules that we'll have tonight, It'll be 12 rounds, and it is for the North American Heavyweight Championship. Francis Albert. Many people call Los Angeles the boxing capital of the world. But only two heavyweight championship fights have ever been held here. 
1949, Joe Lewis stopped Jack Roper. And in 1958, Floyd Patterson stopped Roy Cut and Shoot Harris. But the Lewis fight was not for the title, Chick. It was before Joe became champion. Thank you for correcting me on that. You're welcome. I appreciate that sincerely. We got the five-point must system, and Bud uh, Perillo has that down pat, Bud. In California, they use what is called the five-point must system, which we'll explain again. The winner of a round gets anywhere from one to five points. The loser gets zero. Uh, to get five points, I think it'd be almost impossible. Uh, it takes two knockdowns to get three, and maybe three knockdowns to get four points. You know, you talk about great fights that Top Rank Incorporated sends to the fans on closed circuit television. Everybody in the place is standing up and looking, looking to the opposite end from where the fighters will appear or are scheduled to appear. Uh, but with Mohammed here, you never know where he might make his way from into the arena or the fabulous forum. I think that there's a couple of guys who couldn't wait for the ring fight, so they started one of their own. Yeah, I suspect we've got an off-TV fight there. One that the Top Rank Incorporated is going to carry for you boxing fans will be on September the 22nd, welterweight champion of the world, Jose Napoles of Mexico and Clyde Ray of Canada. Brought to you, Top Rank Incorporated. That ought to be quite a fight. Jose Napoles is possibly the best fighter pound for pound in the business. There you see some action. And that's the kind of action you'll see September 22nd when Top Rank Incorporated brings you the welterweight bout between the champion Jose Napolis and Clyde Ray. I believe we're looking at uh, Napolis knockout of uh, Indian Red Lopez. That's what it is. What a punch it is that he knocks him out with, too. You will see one terrific right hand. Napolis is in the white. Oh, he's throwing some leather in there. Beautiful fighter. They call him Montaquilla, which means in Spanish, smooth as butter. Or... The Fabulous Forum in Inglewood, California, the home of the 1972 world champion Lakers. Light heavyweight champion Bob Foster. He's got on, as the boys would say, some threads. Very quiet ensemble. And and looks a lot like Jeffrey. Jim Brown. The yep. Lewis. Joe Lewis introduced. You talk about popularity. He was the best. Are you making a flat out? He statement? was the best of all time. The Brown Bomber has not made an appearance yet. I know he came down from Las Vegas, where he is regularly employed at Caesar's Palace. George Foreman, the heavyweight champion of the world. And George he has, has got on one of those new Hawaiian shirts. Just came back from Hawaii. And he possibly saw his next opponent here tonight score a fourth round knockout. Jerry Quarry over Tony Doyle in our first bout. The new young lion and he's really something. We're waiting the entrance of the fighters. They'll come right through that tunnel. The I'm fabulous excited, forum, aren't you? Very aptly called the world's most beautiful sports theater. The home of the Los Angeles Kings of the National Hockey League and the Los Angeles Lakers of the National Basketball Association. Wonder who'll come in first. I think Norton probably will come in first, but who knows? 
12 rounds or less. The mandatory eight count will be in effect, and of course, they've waived the three knockdowns. And in case you're wondering, they will wear 10 ounce gloves. Of course, after, after this fight, uh, Muhammad Ali is scheduled a, another international tour, which is going to take him to the uh, East Indies. I know he's going to Bangkok. What about Kenny Norton? Here, Here they come. The first one out is Kenny Norton. Kenny Norton, who scored that stunning victory on March 31st in San Diego, California. Kenny's so thin, he almost looks gaunt. In the face, that is. What muscles? The crowd now being alerted to the fact that the gladiators are making their way into the square. Eddie Futch, brilliant manager trainer. Norton, 30, 23, and 1. Here comes Ali. The 23, of course, representing knockout. Here comes Muhammad Ali, the former heavyweight champion of the world. 1960. Olympic gold medal winner, light heavyweight. The electricity of the man's appearance. They've been waiting 13 years for his return in Los Angeles. The last time he fought here was against Archie Moore. And I think that one went four rounds, didn't it? That's right. A real somber, workmanlike Muhammad Ali. Never seen him look so grim. He knows he's got to win this one. If he loses two in a row to Ken Norton or anyone else, that might signal the end of it. 31 knockouts, 41 victories, two losses. The fighters disdain looking at each other. A new white robe for Ali. His previous robe had been given to him by Elvis Presley, and on the back it said, the people's champion. It cost $5,000. That was in Las Vegas, February the 14th of this year, the night he defeated Joe Bugner. Right above us, we have Kenny Norton, and at the far side of the ring, Muhammad Ali. Norton will be wearing blue trunks, or if you're in black and white, the darker trunks. Muhammad Ali, resplendent in white. Now, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, mid-ring, Jeff Temkin, uh, ring announcer with the introductions. Forum in Inglewood, California. These bouts are sanctioned under the California State Athletic Commission, the Honorable Gordon Del Faro, President. Your officials for tonight, timekeeper and counting at the knockdowns, Cliff Gauz, your ringside physicians, Dr. Jack Usim, assisted by Dr. Ray Paris. Judging at ringside, John Thomas and George Latka. Referee for the main event will be Dick Young. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. 12 rounds or less for the North American heavyweight title. On my right, from San Diego, California, Wearing the blue trunks with the white stripe, weighing in tonight at 205 pounds, the number one ranking heavyweight in all the world, Kenny Norton. And on my left, from 
Louisville, Kentucky. Weighing in tonight, 212 pounds, wearing the white coats with the black stripe, the former heavyweight champion of the world, Mohammed Ali. You're going 12 rounds and hurts for the North American Heavyweight Championship. I expect a good, clean, hard fight all the way. When you go to the body, keep those punches up. I don't want any low blows. I don't want any kidney punches or rabbit punches. Very little staring by Ali. And hit with the free hand. I'll give you the opportunity to work out of every clinch. But whatever you're doing, when I say break, you stop it and you step back. Both of you, break round. But protect yourselves when you do. You bet? I will. If you have a knockdown, the man down must take eight. The man on his feet will go to the farthest corner remaining. Now, is there any questions? Okay. We'd like to welcome all the broadcasters from the many, many foreign countries that are televising and radioing this fight tonight, particularly to Lucian Shen, the great matchmaker from Jamaica, who is here, hopeful of getting Ali if he wins, to come down to Jamaica and fight. I'd also like to say happy birthday to President Marcos of the Philippines. Round one of a scheduled 12. Between them in 73 fights, there's only been three losses. One loss by Norton, two by Muhammad Ali, who stings him with the left. And Ali definitely up on the toes, bud. He said he'd be dancing. Look at Kenny Norton smile at him. Note the stiff right hand, right leg of Kenny Norton. Norton is a stiff arm fighter, a stand up fighter. He is not fast. And when he bores in, he becomes a pretty good target. Of course, Muhammad Ali's speed combination. Does he still have it? That was almost a lead right. Ali's attitude in this first round toward Norton is one of scorn. Some of his best rounds have been the first. He likes to psych an opponent out in that first round by showing him what he can do. Each of them listed at six feet three. Norton appears a little bit taller. Ali has an 80 inch reach. Norton 79. Ali has not stopped dancing for a second. And Norton has continued to stalk him. Less than a minute to go in the first round. A good rally. Norton bent a little, but he wasn't hurt. He was covering up. Look of anticipation in Ali's eyes. This is the best I've seen Ali look since going back before the Joe Frazier fight, March 8, 1971. Well, the flab is gone. The speed has returned so far, a foot and hand. Ten. Ten About nine seconds left. Ten seconds. The first round is over. Muhammad Ali did everything he said he would, but he did not seem to bother Ken Norton. Bud Ferrillo. The second comeback of Muhammad Ali, he did everything he said he would do in that first round. He kept up on his toes. I think that twice he may have stung Ken Norton. How did We're you look into round? Ali's corner right now? I gave the round to Ali, one to nothing. And this is another psych that you're looking at of Muhammad Ali's. He likes to stand in his corner, make his opponent know that he's not bothered at all. 
Meanwhile, Angelo Dundee, great handler of Muhammad Ali and Eddie Futch. In the other corner, Kenny you Norton. saw Eddie Futch talking animatedly to Ken Norton. And oh. Ali is dancing into the shuffle. A little shuffle. Remember in his locker room interview, we asked him, did he have on his dancing shoes? He has, as Don Olmeyer gets a tremendous shot for you. Wide-eyed look in Ali's face. Regardless of what happened, because of this tremendous conditioning program of Ali, he, in at least this reporter's opinion, looks five to seven years younger than he did in his last fight. There's no question about it. I, for a year now, or more than a year, you've seen the layer of fat around the midriff, and you don't see it tonight. And you don't see any on 28-year-old Kenny Norton either. <laughs> Ali with a waist of 33 and a half inches. Kenny Norton a 32-inch waist. You notice the much more powerful legs of Ali. Look at the stalking of Norton. He hasn't stopped stalking, and Muhammad Ali hasn't stopped dancing. Norton's strategy is that when Ali is doing nothing, then he intends to hit him with some real powerful jab. Norton has not landed a punch yet. Bundini Brown in the corner, and he is the most avid supporter Muhammad Ali will ever have. He's the cheerleader. I actually saw him cry real tears after Joe Frazier won the Madison Square Garden. I would be misleading you if I said that either fighter had landed a telling blow. Norton on the move. Those Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali of 1973. And referee Dick Young has warned Bundini Brown to quiet down. He's going to throw him away from the ring. Have him ordered away. Dick Young is without a peer as an official. He is a great one. Best in the state. A little slap jab coming out there thrown by Ali. Not hurting too much, but very bothersome. Good left hand by Norton. He actually picked him up by the hips and sat him on the second rope. Norton picked him up. That's something that Norton did in the first fight as well. Threw a block on him. Alley 212, Norton 205. It's a sweet jab he's got going. That's the end of round number two, and the crowd at the fabulous forum, totally delighted. All right, let's take them. Here they are in the corner. For the first time, there was really a, a good exchange by both fighters. Ali decided to stand his ground and, and slug with Norton. Good left hook by Kenny Norton. Right by Ali. Picks off a left. And here you'll see Norton pick him up. <laughs> All right, sit him down. There have been no knockdowns, but we have one sit down. Give me your scoring. I've got Ali two to nothing after two rounds. Why? Why did you give that round just for the fans' sake? Why did you give it? Well, two there are four things that determine the scoring of round, as I mentioned before. Ring generalship, certainly Ali has that. Boxing, defense, and punching power. I think that in three of the categories he excels. I punching just, power, I give to North. I can just hear some of the fans booing them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. This, of course, has nothing to do with the official tally, ladies and gentlemen. Bud Perillo, boxing expert, giving you his personal scoring. Round three, we're scheduled for 12. If you join us late, Muhammad Ali and the White Trunks. Right above us now. Both men starting to perspire profusely. Good 
good uppercut, right hand, and it got through, despite the good defensive try by Norton. He hasn't missed a punch this round. That left of the body made Ali win. And Norton has showed that he likes to go with that left hand here early in this fight. Two minutes left in round three. A little chopping combination by Muhammad Ali, a sequence that made him famous. Norton beginning to open up. Oh, beautiful right-left combination by Kenny Norton. One of the things that I think I notice about Ali, but he's more able to elude punches and trouble because of his quicker. That's right. He hasn't stopped dancing. Something on those jabs, I'll tell you. Yes, and they're going to feel like heavyweight bombs a little bit later on if they keep getting through. A lead right hand by Muhammad Ali. They better be in condition, bud. Because they're moving. Less than a minute to go. Round three. Eddie Futch calling up to his man, Kenny Norton. Keep sticking, keep sticking. It appears that Norton is trying to corner Ali and then really unload. The question is, can Ali dance 12 rounds? Well, he did it against Buckner. Of course, Buckner was not the puncher that Kenny Norton did. And Buckner was not as quick a foot as did Norton. And I don't think he pursued quite as much. Norton is certainly stepping up the pace. Good left hand scored by Ali. A right uppercut by Ali. About five seconds left in the third round. The end of the third. Marvelous action for the fans of Muhammad Ali's corner goes to work at the back of Bundini Brown. And Ali is standing up. Angelo Gundy inside the ring with him. Referee Young over to talk to Ali about something. Ali went for a walk away from his corner, 10, 12 feet away. We'll try to get a word from Dick Young as to what he said to Muhammad Ali. That was referee Dick Young saying that he warned Ali to keep his left glove closed. And as soon as he told Ali or made that admonition, Ali nodded in a sense. Eddie Futch goes over now to referee Dick Young and says something, probably asking if that's what he told him. All the technicality going to be brought to light and strictly enforced by the great ring arbiter Dick Young. There's Arthur Murray over there. <laughs> you got that one by me for a minute. I really should have said Bojangles. Muhammad Ali has been a pro 13 years. He won his title four years after turning pro. 1964. Oh, Norton ran into a left hook, and now he pushes Muhammad Ali away. Muhammad Ali ricochets off the ropes. Who oh, is he fast on his feet tonight, and Norton is right after him. Norton believes that he is the stronger of the two. There's no question of that. And Norton's got a 16-inch bicep. Alley of 15, if that means anything, and I doubt that it does. And it's left the old Ali. Yes, it is. It certainly is. If Kenny Norton beats this Alley, Kenny Norton is going to get some great, great respect, even more than he has now. That was on the elbow of Muhammad Ali. Put him together. In the corner, that's where Norton wanted him, and he gets the hook, hook, hook coming out. That's what Norton's been trying to do. His strategy says get him in that corner and pound. 
That made Norton do a dance. Yeah, Norton did a bit of a shuffle of his own. About a minute left to go in round number four. There's that left jab again. Picked off that time by Norton who slaps it away. The hook went over the head of Norton. Look out right above us. I count Norton landing only three punches so far this round. Fifteen seconds left in the round as Ali scores. That left hook by Norton was just short of a retreating Ali's chin. Just punch to the fight for Ken Norton, and he yelled at Ali. Ali got him a split second after the bell. I don't think it uh, infuriated Norton, however. No, I say that Kenny Norton yelled at Ali after he hit Ali with that right hand. Right. I don't know what he yelled, but I, I'm sure that Kenny was pleased with himself. I think he said, did you say ouch? <laughs> and you will notice that Ali is sitting down now. For the first time between rounds. Good observation. Check her and along and with, with his Pat head uh, with his head down. That was one hell of a right hand. If he is going to start tiring, it might show up in the middle rounds. We'll be going to round number five. And he's dancing again. Shuffling. Norton still seated. If I, Ali is trying to psych Norton, I would say he has failed. <laughs> round five, and what do you have the scoring? I scored the last round even, mostly on the basis of that great right hand. So you've got a three nothing going. Three nothing, Ali. And we've got a different Ken Norton in there now too. Notice the way he drags his right leg. It's always been his style. Kenny was the All-Marine champion in 65, 66, 67. Oh, good drilling left hand scored by Norton. There's a different look on the face of Ali now. Norton, who has worked so many times with Joe Frazier, is emulating Frazier to the extent of the stalk, trying to cut off the ring on Ali. And scoring much more effectively with his jab now. He has reddened the nose of Ali. Ali is not the same fighter in this round that he was in the first four rounds. Perhaps it's a coast round for him. Regroup. 120 left in the round. Oh, chopping right hand. It glanced off the side of the head of Norton, but it was a scoring punch. Good uppercut by Norton. Le right, left combination. Norton. Norton coming on. And Ali hangs on. Ali landed his best punch of the fight in this round. A right hand. It didn't phase Norton. After missing the hook with the left, Norton got the right home to the belly button. Norton Again, concentrating right. on the body, trying to bring those 
hands of Ali down. Well, he's leading with that left hook up jaw high and then coming into the side of the ribs. Good right hand by Ali. The left jab by Ali. And Norton ever pressing, always on top, this man. Ali gets him with a good left hook inside. A furious exchange, a left hand on the forehead of Ali. And the round is over, and Norton screams at him in derision. He got right to his ear and screamed, I own you. We're looking at Ken Norton, Eddie Futz working on him. He's a much more confident Ken Norton now. After the Bruising way he talks, body punches. At the end of the round to Ali, there is no doubt in this reporter's mind that Norton thinks he's going to beat Ali. Well, he's talked to him at the end of the last two rounds. Ali has abandoned the chair again. He's standing up in his corner. Here's the last flurry of the previous round. Butterfly trying to ward off Norton. Here we go to round number six. Bud Ferrillo gave that round to Kenny Norton. Unofficially, his scoring is three to one. Ali's still in front. The halfway mark of this 12-rounder for the North American Heavyweight Championship, but a lot more at stake, particularly for Muhammad Ali. He has said he might retire if he loses. What would boxing do without him? That left hook got across the glove of Ali and hit Ali's jaw. Norton's pressing more than he ever did, even in the early rounds of the fight. He just seems so sure of himself now. Ali still on his toes, still dancing. He knows Ali can't hurt him, and that's why he's moving in. Or at least he thinks he can't hurt him. There's the jab I spoke about. The powerful jab of Ken Norton. There it is again. That turned the head backwards a little bit, Ali. When Ali loves, he's going to get hit with that jab. That's what Norton worked on so hard in training camp. The uppercut by Ken Norton. The left hook sweeping by the chin of Ali. Norton taking extreme chances. He doesn't seem at all worried about Ali's punch. Minute and a half left in round six. I don't know why, but heavyweight champ of the world, George Foreman, is leaving. Isn't that amazing? George can't stand for a fight to go over two rounds, I guess. Norton got his man where he wants him in that corner on the ropes. Left hook by Ali. Good punch. Yes, he hurt and Norton. There again. He's hurt Norton. Let's see how Norton responds to this pressure now. He took a couple of solid shots. And he's in throwing his own leather. Come back, George Foreman. You're missing a great fight. Norton going to peekaboo a little bit more. I think Kenny's hurt. Ali is flicking shots out there now with both hands. He appears to have shortened up his punches just a little bit. A mouse under the left eye of Ken Norton. The best round of the fight for either fighter. A mouse has appeared under the eye of Kenny Norton. Let's take a look at some of the action. You're going to see Ken Norton staggered here by Ali. There's the right hand. Made him dance. Ken Norton has the reactions of a man who may have had just one too many.
the halfway mark of this 12-rounder for the North American Heavyweight Championship, but a lot more at stake, particularly for Muhammad Ali. He has said he might retire if he loses. What would boxing do without him? That left hook got across the glove of Ali and hit Ali's jaw. Norton's pressing more than he ever did even in the early rounds of the fight. He just seems so sure of himself now. Ali still on his toes, still dancing. He knows Ali can't hurt him, and that's why he's moving in. Or at least he thinks he can't hurt him. There's the jab I spoke about. The powerful jab of Ken Norton. There it is again. That turned the head backwards a little bit, Ali. When Ali loves, he's going to get hit with that jab. That's what Norton worked on so hard in training camp. The uppercut by Ken Norton. The left hook sweeping by the chin of Ali. Norton taking extreme chances. He doesn't seem at all worried about Ali's punch. Minute and a half left in round six. I don't know why, but heavyweight champ of the world, George Foreman, is leaving. Isn't that amazing? George can't stand for a fight to go over two rounds, I guess. Norton got his man where he wants him in that corner on the ropes. Left hook by Ali. Good punch. Yes, he hurt now Norton. Is again. He's hurt Norton. Let's see how Norton responds to this pressure now. He took a couple of solid shots. And he's in throwing his own leather. Come back, George Foreman. You're missing a great fight. Norton going to peekaboo a little bit more. I think Kenny's hurt. Ali is flicking shots out there now with both hands. He appears to have shortened up his punches just a little bit. A mouse under the left eye of Ken Norton. The best round of the fight for either fighter. A mouse has appeared under the eye of Kenny Norton. Let's take a look at some of the action. You're going to see Ken Norton staggered here by Ali. There's the right hand. Made him dance. Ken Norton has the reactions of a man who may have had just one too many. We said during some of our commentary, Bud, that the fifth round, the round before the last, might have been a coasting round for Muhammad Ali, and I sincerely think it was, and he came back awfully strong in the sixth. And he smells it now. Kenny Norton, a very tough young man. He's going to have to uh, exhibit all his toughness. Norton's eyes are clear. All his grit. Right now, because Muhammad Ali has had his gas tank full of confidence filled to overflowing with that last round. The mouse is under Norton's right eye. Vulnerable to the left hook. It does not appear that there's even the remotest possibility at this time without further damage of that eye closing or coming close to it.
is growing an egg under the right eye. Cut by Norton, slashing right hand, left, another uppercut, straightens Ali up. Ali's hurt. Ali took the brunt of three or four hurt. of those punches. His legs were crossed on the ropes, and Ali is in trouble holding, holding on. on. Kenny Norton with a furious exchange. A brilliant comeback from the previous three minutes. And now Ali with a combination left-right. What a fight. Two outstanding heavyweights. Both men have been hurt and in this round. Oh! A chopping right hand right on the jaw of Ali. And Ali felt that one to his ankle bone. Those two punches were picked off if by Ali. ever Ali's the arm. jaw was going to break again, that would have been the time. Oh, he was wide he open. Bad. And he's hurt. Ali hanging on. There's no possum. There's no cat and mouse. 20 He's seconds left. Trying to hang on the last 20 15 seconds. seconds of this round. Hoping for round eight. Ten seconds left. In a rousing seventh round. Three seconds left. And Ali will go to the stool this time. Ali's used the stool only once before between rounds in this fight. He's on it now in a hurry. I just score that one. That was a tough one. Ladies and gentlemen, I thought that was a two-point round for Ken Norton. Based on what? He had Ali in terrible shape. This man is amazing. I don't know what keeps him up. You know, early in his career, Ali would go down once in a while. Joe Frazier hit him with everything. The kitchen sink and only put him down once. The crowd now starting the rhythmic chant. They're Mike for Norton. Take their yelling for Norton. Norton, a five to two underdog. Now the Ali chant. So for the sixth round, Ali gained confidence. Norton has regained his with a furious seventh round. But Ali is still dancing. Sitting here where we do at ringside, Bud Perillo, you can almost see a change of expression in their eyes, can't you? Oh, yes. Ali is apprehensive now. Norton has the look of confidence. Ali is not circling with near the rapidity that the first three or four rounds invoked. A digging left hand into the rib cage of Ali. A good left hook on the jaw of Norton. Another hook on the jaw of Norton. Ali put four hooks together there before you could call him. I may be wrong, but Ferrillo, but it appears that at times Ali's hands are coming down a little bit. I think he's still moving very well, Check for the eighth round. There is no doubt about that. I think it can be safely said both men are moving very well, considering the tempo of the fight. The difference in Ali is that he has forgotten how to finish fighters. It looked like he could have finished Ken Norton in the sixth round. He let him off the hook. Kenny Norton has knocked out 22 men in his 30 victories. Mohammed, of course, has had 31 knockouts in his 40 victories. Good combination left-right. Ali scoring. One minute left in round number eight. Our unofficial scoring, or Bud Perillo's of the Los Angeles Herald Examiner, has it 4-3 now. Ali still in front. 
Norton looked at the referee, Dick Young, as much as to say, make him quit pushing my head down. The physical strain is showing, I think, on both fighters. They both look tired. And remember what Ali said. He said that Ken Norton may be too fine. Oh, oh. a left and a right. And that set Ali to the ropes. He got his guard down. Ali went high and then came right back head hunting with the right hand. Can he take a punch? Woo. Ali thought that the lightweight of 205 would detract from the skills of Norton. I don't believe it has, do you? Very confident Ken Norton returns to his corner. Well, what do you think of the scoring for that round, Mr. Perillo? Ali pinned again, catches a terrible hook. Holds on. Right. This is Norton's strategy to get him in those corners and then to punch him with both hands. And it's paying off. Angelo Dundee with Muhammad Ali. How'd you score it? The fight is all even on my part. You gave that one to Norton, so it's 4-4. Unofficial, of course. What a punch. Another one. Can he take it? The scorecards will be officially signed by referee Dick Young and judges George Latka and John Thomas. Round nine. Norton doing the jabbing now. see which man is really in the best shape condition could tell for the last four another good combination left right by Norton not as severe as the previous round however Ali has quit moving at least temporarily oh a slashing right hand it sounded like almost an open glove by Norton Kenny's attitude is that of a, an accountant going to work, auditing. Determined, conscientious, confident. Ali's got to get out of those corners. And Ali, hoping to get back some of the sap in those legs that carried him around so brilliantly in the first rounds. Norton hit him low. I did not see a warning, and I look for it from referee Dick Young. Norton has no fear of Ali's punch now. He just wades in and punches whenever he feels like it. What a right to the midsection. Norton hit him with a left jab. Drove it through the glove. Both men exchanged jabs. Ali, Ali, another Ali. Right hand by Ali. It's staggered Ken Norton. Norton seems to be just a little bit wobbly-legged here. Staggered him with the right hand. We'll see. If Ali could get across another one right here, he might. 40 seconds left. The crowd is going absolutely berserk as these fine heavyweights unleash Fight their of the year. Look at them eye each other. 20 seconds left in round nine. Both men are apparently quite tired. 15 seconds, Ali having a scoring round, and now Norton scoring on his own. Five seconds left. Two seconds, one. Wow. Kenny Norton definitely was wobbling a little bit as he walked back toward us and toward his corner. 
The crowd, regardless of their partisanship, highly emotional in that round. So we go to round number 10, and you scored that round for? Ali. He leads on our unofficial card, 5-4. to four. And it's very unofficial. Chick Hearn here at ringside, along with Bud Perillo. Three grueling rounds, nine minutes left. Or will it be less? Remember what Ali said, it can't go the distance. And I remember what you said in our pre-fight chat. Ali to stop him in 10. Norton's style appears changed, as though he had taken on a new respect for Ali's punching power. the movement starting to dance again he's huh? been fighting for a half hour that was low right above us now older than Norton. Alley, 31. Good left hand by Norton. Shows Alley to the ropes. The old Alley wouldn't be trapped in a corner like this. The only other time it happened was against Joe Frazier. And I guess in the first Norton fight. Half a minute left to go in round 10. <laughs> Regardless of what happens in this fight, Norton has established himself as a real, real heavyweight contender. And Muhammad Ali, a brilliant fight. Fudge working over him. Norton's best punch of the round right there. A round which I felt was pretty even. So if you scored it even, we'll go to the 11th round of our 12-rounder with our unofficial card reading Ali 5-4. Dick Young, in case we should neglect it, and we should not, doing a masterful job as a third man in the ring. Split screen, and you get a good look at both trainers, Dundee and Futch, and both fighters, Norton and Ali. Round 11. Wow! Norton tried to end it right there. Norton got through that left jab. 
Alley missed and ran into a right hand hook. Looks like they both think they're about as close as. Oh, right in the bread basket, and that hurt Ali. Norton going by. Norton had it to the knockout. Norton hurt him in the bread basket temporarily. But I'll tell you one thing Ali, like Norton, is flat on the tummy. Two minutes to go in the round. Kenny won't let him rest. Ali holding on. There he is in the corner again. Is Norton too tired to take advantage of it? They're both very fatigued. Two hooks to the side of the head of Norton. Corner again. Where Norton's punches had some zip before. They're slow getting there, but that right hand uppercut hurt Ali. The left hook misses. That's picked off in the glove of Ali. Ali's losing his pants. <laughs> Pull him up. A minute left to go in round number 11. Maybe may be losing more than that. Forty-five seconds left in the round. Picked off in the glove. Woo! The roundhouse miss. Twenty seconds left in round eleven. Ten seconds. Kenny got off balance, lunging at that combination. Ali did not land any yet. None of those punches landed. Norton is dead tired. The crowd thought they were landing. They were not landing. He may have punched himself out there. He is awfully tired. And Eddie Futch is going to something secret here. Smelling salt, it looks like. Yes, sir. Got some smelling salts out of the box for him. And the way the round started, you thought that Norton was going to knock Ali out. Norton was all out at the beginning with Tremendous body punches. Right there. Oh, that staggered Ali. You saw the wobble on his right leg. How'd you score the round? The fight is all even going into the 12th round on my card. Bud Ferrillo gave it to Norton. Who'll win it? Three minutes of excruciating time for these two fine, well-conditioned performers. This round could win it for one or the other. A man's entire fistic future may be riding on this round. And he's on his toes again. He's on his toes. Martin, I believe. Staggered Norton. Tired. Remember, Joe Frazier says that's the place to go to the body. Ali with a beautiful combination. Ali coming on strong. But how about Ken Norton? Fantastic display by both men. Two minutes to go. He's talking to Ali again. A minute and 45 seconds to go. A 
a minute and a half. We're right where we were when he started. Norton on the uh, trail of Muhammad Ali. And he's back in the corner, but Norton's too tired now to punch back. 1.15 to go. 12th and final round. A very tough fight to judge, very tough. One minute to go. Ali caught a left hand that yeah. hurt him. Another left that hurt him. Another left. 45 seconds to go. Beautiful right hand. Turn Norton's place around. Alley scoring. Norton driving him back again. Half a minute. Twenty seconds left in the fight. Here comes Norton. Alley holding on. Ten seconds left. Going the distance. And there is the bell. <laughs> Kenny Norton. And Muhammad Ali. Thrilling a Los Angeles crowd. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling. You got a feeling what? I think that the comeback of Muhammad Ali has happened. Whoever wins, whoever loses, both I, men. I gave Ali the last round. I think that that is the round that's going to win the fight for him. Really gave it a shot. There's a very tired Muhammad Ali, worn out. Hitting Cosell on the head, just like he should. <laughs> Get him. He obviously is in a very good frame of mind. You know, you were commenting. That's the guy looking at my card. You know? I'm looking at my card. All right, Bud Perillo, I'm going up into the ring and talk to the winner, whomever it is. And there is extreme doubt, Chick Hearn. <laughs> Strange quiet has come over this fabulous forum. We wait for the decision here. Referee Dick Young. Announcer Jeff Timken has the cards. I guess we're ready for the decision. Here we go with the decision. We've got the split decision. <laughs> All right, we're with Muhammad here. Champ, a great fight. You haven't been in this kind of condition, I'm sure, for many years, and you had to be. Right, I'm in good condition, but I'm taller than usual because of my age. Forget your age, you were a spirited fighter, a game fighter, you took his best shot and you came back with your own, and I'm sure that you feel that Ken Norton is truly a fine, fine boxer. 
not only that, he's a threat to the title. Whether I hold it or who holds it. He's the next best in the world for myself. That's a nice compliment. What are you going to do now, God. Muhammad? First, I want to thank Almighty God, Allah, for the Honorable thank Elijah God. Muhammad, a uh, spiritual leading teacher whose teachings of our morals and the prophet died enabled me to be ready for this fight. And also, God. we want to say hello to what you want to tell you, man. Dr. Ross. And we want to say hello to Louis, uh, uh, the guy that gave us all the big rocks. And, uh, also, the, Harvey uh, Moyer. And Harvey Moyer, I'm building a training camp. I'm in condition because of my great training camp in Dirley, Pennsylvania. Jake, I want to say hello to my wife and kids. God damn it. Harvey Harvey Mario, and tell Harvey Mario to hurry up and get my cabin built because I'll soon be in training. <laughs> What's right. he going to do next? Well, well, I guess he's going to take a little rest. He, he deserves it. We're going to go back and see our families for a change. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Congratulations again. A great, great fight. Thank you like very much. Like I said, if I wasn't in that shape, there wasn't no way I could have won. No possible right. way. Right. Thank you. There you are, ladies and gentlemen, Angelo Dundee. And, of course, Muhammad Ali. Let me get over here now with Kenny Norton. Kenny, could I have a word with Kenny, please, Eddie? Kenny, I can't let you get away without complimenting you on a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant effort. Thank you very much, sir. I just don't see how you could have fought any better. If anything, despite the loss, you've grown in stature tonight in the boxing world. Thank you very much for the compliment. Eddie, I know you're disappointed but not in his performance. No, no I, I thought he performed exceptionally well against the well-conditioned, a very sharp Ali. Uh, did he hurt you at any time? I got hurt once in the 11th round by a good right hand. It looked like it. Uh, was he a better fighter than in the previous fight? Uh, he was better and he moved a lot more. Will you ask for a return? Yes. You will uh, definitely ask for a return back. I hope that you get it. Thank you very much. All right, sir. thank you very much. You. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's it in ringside. I'm Chick Hearn for Bud Perillo. We hope that you've enjoyed the show as much as we've enjoyed sending it to you. Split decision, Muhammad Ali over Kenny Norton. Good night, everybody. Let's take Norton out. Let's take Norton out. Good job.